welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have some spoilers here, okay? We've got some spoilers for Star Trek Picard. I'm not sure if anyone cares, but we do have some spoilers. So I do have to pre-warn you. Uh, this is interesting. Could be complete BS, okay? So there's just potential spoilers, but could be complete BS. Um, I, I, I've read this all. This is actually quite interesting. Uh, I, I don't think... I don't think it really tells us that much about like the wider narrative at play. So if you're thinking about like spoilers for Picard on a whole, it's not it's not that bad if that makes sense. Um, it's just about this captain guy, and I think as well, it just goes to show the writers are not particularly good either because it just uh, adds another massive plot hole. So, but we'll get into it. You've had your warning and some babble. Um, so a new Star Trek Picard leak alleges to reveal the true nature of Captain Rios. Now, Rios in the series has kind of been the only highlight. Um, bizarre, many, many different accents. There's lots of versions, so there's lots of EMHs floating around the, um, the ship. He's the captain and there's lots of EMHs, but it's being played by the same actor. Different personalities sort of thing, right? So kind of a highlight if we could call it that now it says it could completely alter what people were expecting from the character and yes it could but i wouldn't say necessarily for the better now the alleged one page script leak comes from 4chan again i know oh, 4chan but these places have been true in the past so there's no reason to completely poo poo it straight away just take it with a pinch of salt okay but they have been right in the past about other things so we'll take it with a pinch of salt but don't poo poo it okay now it says an anonymous poster prefaces it by saying i got this from a reliable friend he's a guy who has shared stuff with directly people commenting on trek before but he's also been burned by doomcock uh still with all the firings going on left right and uh, left and right at all access for most jobs under the Star Trek brand, he figures, why not share directly to 4chan before he gets the axe? Funny, I guess. Um, I don't understand. Apparently someone has some beef with another YouTuber. I don't understand what's going on there, but never mind. Now, the alleged, the alleged script sees Picard, Raffi and Jurati give their goodbyes to Rios. While Picard and Rafi beam away after saying their goodbyes, Rios turns to Jurati, who attempts to get him to live with her in Osaka. Now, she tells him, I guess this is goodbye, but you know, it doesn't have to be. Obviously going, you know, come with me, please, 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 I love you. Um, Rios attempts to stop her by saying, Agnes, I... Jurati interrupts, please, let me speak. I haven't felt this way in a long, long time. I haven't been able to open up to someone since Bruce, the uh, the hilarious Jordan Peterson looking like Bruce Maddox, or maybe even before. With you, it just feels so real. Uh, Rios again attempts to interrupt. Agnes, please listen. You might say this dialogue sounds bad. Have you watched Picard? She interrupts him again and says, I'm just saying that I don't need to beam down, not alone. Come with me to Osaka. Let's see what we can make of this. Because like we'd, we'd seen them, they boned in one of the episodes. It was like two episodes ago, I think it was. And Rios replies, uh, Meada. Oh, I can't do Spanish, sorry. It looks like I just need to show you. He then commands the computer to disable emergency command hologram. You can see where we're going with this. A computer error is then heard. Rios then states, Computer, disable ECH, Captain Override. With the ECH disabled, Rios is revealed to, a hot, to be a hologram and fades away. The leak was then obviously shared with angry Mr. Flibble. Um, he found this on 4chan. Utterly the best name ever on Twitter. Love the name. Um, and they said, look, alleged script leak for Star Trek Picard concerning Rios from 4chan, so take with the usual dose of salt, which is true, absolutely. I agree. Um, and this is the leak. I don't know. It looks like it could definitely have been doctored. Um, but it, again, I'd still say that there's potentially some level of uh, legitimacy behind it to some degree anyway. Um, 
Now, they said this isn't the first leak for Star Wars Picard that have come from 4chan. Back in late January, we, we reported how leaks that came out a week prior to the show's premiere did actually uh, turn out to be true to an extent. So it sounds like they were old. They, they were some true and some bad, uh, some false, sorry, as if they've kind of mixed some up and they've developed the scripts as they went along, which is laughable because these scripts do actually feel like their first draft anyway. Now, the leak detailed that Rios sacrifices his life by the end of the season, but he is, is survived by his EMH doppelganger, who will stay with the crew in season two. Now, this sounds like uh, th that leak, as with some of the other bits and pieces, sounded like it was true. Now, this builds off of that, and as certain elements have changed from what we heard in those leaks, it sounds like... These were earlier drafts of the script, basically. Um, and we know this show's had many, many problems, of course. So if they've had all these problems going on, they would have done some several drafts, leaks would have come out, and then they would have further been developed. Now this goes hand in hand with what we'd previously heard, but a, like an evolution of it. Now I'm not going to say it's right, I don't know. Um, but if you're looking at it, logically, it sounds like they've just developed the script a bit further. Again, apparently, Rios sacrifices his life by the end of Season 1, right? He's replaced by one of his doppelgangers on the ship, another hologram. And they will then stay in Season 2. Now, this article then goes to say that if this script is true, it appears to back up the original leak, although it still doesn't reveal how Rios dies or if he, in fact, does die. But it does appear that the EMH doppelganger will take over at some point if it hasn't already. Um, now, again, they've, they've said, look, if you're watching Star Trek Picard, would this be a clever move for the story? I don't think so, because if this is the end, right, if this is the end of the season, this is the end of the season, um, and, uh, what, we're at uh, episode seven now, so we've got three, there's ten, ep no, yeah, there's ten episodes, so we're up at episode seven or eight, seven, I think. You've got three episodes left. You're going to have to kill a character. You're going to have to replace them secretly. Especially how this show moves very, very slowly forwards and backwards. I, I've been saying that this show basically does two steps, uh, one step forward, two steps back. So it progresses for one story. Then it holds. And then it holds again. Then it progresses again. That's how slow this story moves. One step forward, two steps back. Um, so I don't think there's actually enough time to do that. Bearing in mind, there's not been enough time to do anything in this show to a satisfactory fa uh, fashion. But there's definitely not enough time to do that to a satisfactory fashion. That's going to come across really, really badly. Um, and also, if if that's not the case, then you've had holograms commanding other holograms as if they're pieces of trash. And that could have been an interesting narrative to follow. You know, how, why, the why the captain speaks to holograms like crap all the time now we, we don't know i mean it could be the fact that he's a hologram and he resents being a hologram because his consciousness is now the emh but if that is the case then surely you'd embrace it and i don't i don't know it doesn't make sense i just think it sounds really really bad um i don't think narratively it's building off of anything that we've already seen so far so it could be could be complete nonsense could be false but if it is there's not really been any breadcrumbs for it. And it's going to come out left field so far, you're going to get whiplash. So I don't think this sounds very good. But I'd, I hand it on over to you. What do you guys think? Sound good? Sound bad? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Also, if you're a returning subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. And make sure the bell notifications are actually turned to notify all... There's been a real big issue with this recently and also um, just a whole lot of other problems going on with the channel. So I've made a backup channel. I'll leave it linked down below in a pinned comment. Please do hit subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be migrating over some of my old retrospective reviews of movies and things that you've probably never seen because YouTube sucks and you've probably never been notified of them or, you know, I've been around a little while and some of this stuff gets lost in the ether. But that being said, subscribe because you never know, this channel might just disappear. Um, that's half of the course with youtube these days it seems to be a trend um, but i'd love to hear your thoughts so let me know as always with mr h take care